Hey, welcome back, Valley Middle. Tonight we're going to look at how you divide mixed numbers. First, let's start off with our trivia question of the day. Who are these people? Armando, Christian Perez, and Sean Corey Carter. I know you know who they are. You just don't know them by these names. All right, tonight officially our target is 5.7b. I can divide mixed numbers without a calculator. Let's do this thing. Uh, all right, the problem du jour. Kate has three and a half bags of Skittles that he wants to give away to his four buddies. Kate doesn't want any of the Skittles for himself. How many Skittles will each friend get? So he's got the three and a half, and he's going to divide it by four. Well, this is a little different because now we have a mixed number we're working with. But it's really pretty simple. You change the mixed number into an improper fraction. So three times two is six, plus one gives me seven halves. So there's my improper fraction. And I'm dividing it by 4, divided by 4 over 1. What do you suppose I do? Flip it. You betcha. Use the reciprocal and then you multiply. So you get 7 times 1 is 7. 4 times 2 times 4 is 8. So you get 7 eighths. Let me just do a quick check and make sure I did that right. So I had 7 halves divided by 4, and I think it equals 7 eighths. So I'm just going to kind of work backwards. 7 times 4 would give me 28. 8 times 1 would be 28 over 8. When you reduce it, if you divide each by 4, you would get 7 halves. So my check worked. All right, let's take a quick review of some vocabulary words here. Uh, when you divide by fractions, you're going to multiply by its multiplicative inverse or its reciprocal. And we talked about that, how 7 eighths divided by 3 fourths can be solved by taking 7 eighths times 4 thirds. Take a look at these two. Multiplicative inverse. All right. And here's a reciprocal problem over here. 8 divided by 2 equals 4, being the same as 8 times the reciprocal of 2, which is 1 half, also equals 4. Quick review on improper fractions, because many people are still kind of forgetting to do this or doing this wrong. 4 times 2 is 8 plus 1, 9. 4 times 2 plus 1, 9 halves. Same thing here. Multiply down 2 times 3, add the top number. So you get 2 times 3 is 6 plus 1 would give you 7 thirds. All right, let's work a problem. Uh, 4 divided by 1 and a half. You know what? I'm going to start with this one. So let's take 3 divided by 1 and 3 quarters. The first step here is to turn mixed numbers into improper fractions. So 3 divided by 1 and 3 fourths. 1 times 4 is 4, plus 3 will give me 7 fourths. So now I've rewritten the problem. 3 divided by 7 fourths is what I'm working with. You notice how I put that 3 over 1? I like doing that. Uh, then the second step is you just flip it. Instead of 7 fourths, I am going to multiply by 4 sevenths. Here's my reciprocals right here. So when I multiply straight across, 3 times 4, I get 12. 1 times 7 is 7. So I have 12 sevenths, which if you reduce that down or simplify that, taking out a whole 7 sevenths, you would have 1 and 5 sevenths as a remainder. Let me just do my check real quick. So I'm saying that 3 divided by 7 fourths, notice that when I did my check, I left it in that improper fraction. It'll make it easier. Equals 12 sevenths. Well, I'm going to multiply and go this direction. So if I go this way, I am going to get a little cross out action here. will give me 12 fourths. And 12 divided by 4, of course, is 3. So my check worked out, too. Remember how we worked backwards before. All right. I'm going to have you try this one. 4 divided by 1 half. Why don't you pause it and go? Sweet. Let's see how you did. All right. 4 divided by 3 halves would have been your first step if you flip this and turn that into an improper fraction. And then... I'm sorry.
if you turn this into an improper fraction. Now I'm going to flip it. So I got 4 over 1 times 2 over 3. Here are my reciprocals. 4 times 2 is 8. 1 times 3 is 3, so I have 8 over 3. If I divide 8 by 3, I'm going to get 2 with 2 left over, so I have 2 and 2 thirds. Just put that back into my formula here and check my answer. So I have 4 divided by 3 halves, going back up to this problem. 4 divided by 3 halves, and I said it equals 8 thirds. I'm going to do a little crossing out here, and I got 8 over 2. 8 divided by 2 is 4. My answer works out. Terrific. There's always a yeah, but. So here's my yeah, but. Yeah, but what if there's two mixed numbers? This isn't a problem either. Turn them both into improper fractions. So that's what I've done here. 6 and 2 eighths divided by 1 and 1 fourth. 6 times 8, 48, plus 2 gives me 50 eighths. So I've renamed that as an improper fraction. Same thing here. 1 times 4 is 4, plus 1 gives me 5 fourths. So I have 50 eighths divided by 5 fourths. Step 2, flip that second fraction. So you can see I flipped it into 4 fifths. Now if I want to, I can multiply straight across. 50 times 4 would give me 200. 8 times 5 would give me 40. But I did a little crossing out action. I divided here by 5, and I had it goes in there 10 times. And then I went diagonally and divided by 5. That goes in there once. And I divided by 4 over here, just to make it a little simpler. So I ended up with 10 times 1 is 10, and 2 times 1 is 2. 10 divided by 2 is 5. Do you remember my other number? 50 times 4 was 200. 8 times 5 is 40. I had 200 divided by 5. Or, or, uh, 200 divided by 40. The answer is still 5. It doesn't matter. So if you're not sure, again, when to reduce, just don't. Just simplify once you get your answer. Let's plug this in, make sure it makes sense. 10 over 2. 10 times 5 would be 50. 2 times 4 would be 8. I'm back to 50 eighths. So I'm good. It's all good. All right, time for you to try. Here we go. All right, let's see how you did. I'll go through this one a little faster. Uh, did you change them into mixed numbers? If you did, you'd have 7 thirds divided by 7 six. And then if you flipped it, you would have 7 thirds times 6 sevenths. And you could do some reducing there if you want. I did. Or you could just say 7 times 6 is 42. 3 times 7 is 21. You'd have 42 over 21, which is going to give you the answer of 2. The way I reduced it, I ended up with 2 over 1, which is still 2. Plug that back in. 2 times 7 is 14. 1 times 6 is 6, so I'd have 14 6, which can reduce down to 7 thirds. So yes, my answer is correct too. All right, here's your ticket to the show. Copy that down, and the answer to the trivia question. Who are these two people? Armando Christian Perez is better known as Pitbull. Sean Corey Carter, Jay-Z. He was just on the Academy Awards last night. All right, hope you enjoyed. Hope you know how to